Hey, how's it going, everyone? David here, and welcome to another Teen Wolf Reaction. This episode, we are diving into season number four, episode number seven, and that is called Weaponized. Uh, hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, you enjoy the content enough to want to watch all the other shows that we got. We kind of got going on in the channel. I know it's a little bit uh, all over the place right now, but we're going to try to clean it up as best as we can. Uh, but basically... Uh, pfft, man, where does one begin when it comes to the show, man? The show has been absolutely awesome. I know that there's certain things that I don't quite grasp, you know, during the first watch or at least watching the episode that I could, that I could really lean back on you guys on Patreon, uh, because it's, you know, it's week to week over there as opposed to, uh, by the time you're seeing this on YouTube, it's going to be, <laughs> I'll probably already be close to the end of the season, but but what the thing is, is that with Patreon, I get to lean on you guys and to sort of hear without spoiling, which you guys are always great at doing that, without spoiling, you kind of, you know, tell me certain um, certain things that maybe I haven't grasped or, or, or viewed. You know what I mean? So it, it's not something that spoils. It's simply something that, hey, I'm going to give you this, this piece of information so that you can go on and maybe understand a little bit more of what's going on. And so the whole benefactor thing, the whole death Deadpool thing that was, uh, you know, brought to my attention as far as I, I thought that Peter was after something else. The fact that you guys were able to like sort of steer my mindset into, you know, a little bit more of what he meant by what he was uh, doing with Kate. I like that. I like that so much. I, I, it, it makes, it, it makes it more enjoyable me watching the show because Unfortunately, there's certain lures and there's certain uh, certain things that I tend to lose myself in dialogue. And so the fact that you guys can kind of steer me back and help me out with that, I'm definitely grateful for that. And so we're going into uh, this next episode. Very excited to, to kind of continue the season. I think, honestly, there hasn't been a bad season of Teen Wolf, but that's just me personally. I don't know if there's maybe one of those... Later on seasons that I would be like, ah, oh, this one wasn't that great. I've enjoyed every single season so far. And so I'm looking forward to uh, enjoying another episode here in season number four. You know what time it is. Buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. I mean, you're oh, kind of a threat, Scott. Doing? Wait, we got the PSA season in the morning? No, I, I meant the... I ain't gonna lie, man. D, you kind of hold his own. So tell me, uh, his whole back. Mm. Back to your seats now, please. Wait, what? We can't do this during test taking. So dramatic, dude. They're out of their desk again. Ensuring that no one gets in or out of the school. My son is in there. It's gonna be a conflict for you. I feel like conflict? your son has been no. in the middle of Stressful. everything, Stelinski. Yeah. All right, what happens now? We isolate the sick and then. Dude, the way he comes off is so weird. How does it begin? With fever. Then shifting becomes. Is she walking around with a shot in her hand? Why was he in there? Why did he take no precaution? I, I didn't think she was gonna still be coming back here for so long. Looking for it. She took that picture in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Run that picture back. I'm sorry, guys. Run that picture back real quick. Yeah, the same location. Picture was taken forever ago. What? I'm, I'm like slightly creeped out right now. Slightly. 
that Scott and Styles aren't telling you everything. Why is she talking like that? What do you mean? Like they she's, hide stuff. She's talking so weird right now. I think if they did, they probably have a pretty good reason. Obviously, the virus is affecting the two of you in a way it won't hit any human being. You guys have to stay out of sight. We have to quarantine you from the quarantine. Yeah, but <laughs> we have to quarantine you violent, from the quarantine. Like on a full moon. We shouldn't stay in here. Not in the locker room. A, a classroom is not going to hold us. What about the basement? So many ways out. Holy crap. Oh, what the hell virus is this, dude? She wasn't even close. Malia, can you try? Why me? Right, why her? I don't have control. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'll do it. I know I'm on the list. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, man. We don't want to tell you. Yeah. Scott's worth 25, Kira's 6. They'll take you guys out way before me. <laughs> All right, that's one way to think about it. It's progress. It's progress. This isn't happening at the school, is it? School. It's Saturday. They're taking the PSATs. Oh, oh man, it looks gross. I swear that it always looks gross. Come on. Or we lose the house. Dude, everyone's in a situation where they could really use that money. Dang. They're looking for us. Someone's gonna have to go out there. Dude, no one's in shape besides maybe Kira. She can't hear us? us. We let him walk around like nothing ever happened. Like he's one of the good guys. Scott, he's not. It's not good. They're going to die without an antidote. Do we have the antidote? Because man, that just sped up the process. Liam, there's people getting sick. It's another assassin. Damn, what a good assassin though. You sit there and think about it like he literally... It's about to take out so many people. What if Scott or what if uh, Styles is like, nah, I'm good. I'm sick and all, but I'm about to take that money. We need it. And then they're going to die. Yes. And it's not just a few. Damn. It's a of canine distemper. Oh, crazy. A few years ago, an outbreak in Yellowstone. Are you immune? Come on, we need answers. Styles, you're not looking so good. Maybe you gotta lie down. It's okay. Have you, have you seen Mr. Yukamir? Yeah. Is Coach the only adult who got sick today? As far as I know. Right. Why is he the only one? Styles, I think you should lie down. Oh, the list. The list shall be revealed. Oh, he's losing it too. Oh, damn, this thing spreads fast. Oh, my God, it spreads so fast. I was wondering how that idiot got sick. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm also wondering where your friends are. Exactly. Very interesting. So just another guy trying to play a part in this death pool. Scott, I can't, I can't see. Oh my God, they're all going blind.
Oh no, so Tommy's taking one. Dang. He can't see it. And he can't open the door. Oh my God, this is intense. Yo, this is intense. It got intense out of nowhere. This little la later half of this episode. So they just need to smell it. Or they need to intake it. I'm pretty sure they have to intake it, right? I don't know if they have to breathe it in or they got to I'm impressed. I must say that like that takes some strength as a wolf. As a werewolf, that takes some strength, I would think. Close call. Excuse us, excuse us. But wait, she still sensed death. Was it the death? Dude, I'm so like out of the loop. I don't know who it can be. Hey, you all right? Yeah. Well, take it. She saw the list. All right, man. Season four, episode number seven, weaponized. What an episode, man. What an episode. I I feel like I say that all the time, man. But it's just such good TV, man. I feel like I'm watching like a lot of really, really freaking good shows, man. A lot of really good shows. I don't know if anyone gets bothered by this, but I, I always usually pull this stuff up just to kind of get the names of everyone. Cause I feel like if I if I start saying the wrong name, like that'll bother me. But anyways. Um, so basically we have an episode here that's kind of the sort of continuation of people just trying to uh, please the benefactor and trying to, uh, you know, continue to kill people on the list. I thought that the chemist, uh, I think at one point it said his name was Simon. Uh, I thought that his approach to it was probably one of the best uh, where he could have really knocked out some, some heavy hitters and he had already knocked out uh, a lot of Satami's uh, wolf pack or he killed pretty much Satomi's wolf pack. So my man was looking to get paid big time. You know what I mean? So uh, he had by far the best plan coming into this. Um, couple things that kind of have me out of the loop and in question, of course, who the benefactor is. That's still out there. That's still some, like something that we have to figure out as it goes on. Um, I read somewhere on Patreon that that was something that even viewers, when it was, you know, airing weekly, that was, there were a lot of theories out there. There were a lot of people kind of like going out of their way to try to figure out who could be this benefactor, who would really want all of these, you know, werewolves dead and, 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 and everyone else, you know what I mean? Cause you know, Kira's on the list. Like who would want, who would have made this death pool? Who would have wanted all these people out? And so, um, that question is still something that I can't quite grasp. There's so many things going on in my mind as far as who could possibly be. Uh, but basically, um, that's what we got from this episode. It was a really, really good episode. Um, they, at one point, they're taken at uh, the PSATs. They are, you know, obviously everyone who's been to school knows that they're like important, important tests to go into onto college and 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 really you know get placed into a really good college because if you have really good SAT scores you're pretty you're pretty solid and so basically they're doing that the chemists used it as a sort of um a tactic to get to you know some of these people on the list i thought the 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 virus that he was using was like i said one of the most brilliant strongest things that we've ever had to see uh, did I think at any point someone would die of the important people? No, probably not. 
again, it's a little hard uh, to convince me that someone big is going to die from something like that. But nonetheless, it was definitely a scary moment. You know, once once Scott, Kira, and um, Malia were starting to not see, it was definitely a panic moment there. Uh, seeing how it made humans feel, where it didn't, it wasn't gonna kill off the humans, but it got them into a really bad uh, state. You know, really sweaty. Uh, we see that that Lydia's mom actually sees Coach Bobby in his office in the shape that he's in, and she's actually upset. That, you know, he's been sober for 15 years and then, like, she thinks that it's that. And so she's like, uh, 15 years and this is how you go out. This is how you, uh, you know, slip up. And so, so her mindset was that he was drinking. Uh, we find out that that wasn't the case. Um, he had, you know, got, he had gotten, I'm assuming he got, because it had him with the coffee mug. But when Styles showed the coffee mug, so he must have either gotten, yeah, I mean, the only way to get it was through the air, I'm assuming, right? Uh, again, there's always questions, and, and, and that's what I like about the show. A show that raises questions at the end of it, that's a, that's a good show. That means you're into what, into what you're watching. And so basically, I just thought it was a brilliant, brilliant episode, and, and just the way they went about uh, the chemist and, and his, his plan. Um, Satomi's a badass, you know? For them to think that Neo... From the Matrix is uh somebody not to mess with. So Tommy's up there, man. Dude, homegirl was doing ducks and bobs and weaves and lean. Like she was leaning back, everything. Like she was doing everything to dodge bullets. So that was really cool. Um, I I hope we see a little bit more of Doctor Wentz. Um, very very happy with uh McCall and his um his save on Styles because definitely the chemist was gonna take Styles out. The only other question I have. And I'll kind of skim through to see uh, early on. I don't want to forget this either. Early on, they're kind of talking about who would want to use the money that they stole from the Hales to kill everyone on that list, to, to kind of motivate to kill everyone on the list. We find out later on that both Styles and, I mean, not that we find out because we knew that Styles' dad was struggling with medical bills and we knew that Scott's mom was struggling just to keep uh, everything in the house afloat. And so they kind of just... Don't know what to do with the money yet. Deaton, surprise. Deaton could really, really defend himself again. We talked about this. The one girl, Sydney, not feeling so well. She she passes out. Uh, Lydia's mom notices her wrist has, um, you know, some some. I don't even know what you call that, but it basically like almost like a rash. She goes to check Bobby. Bobby's whole back was like that, so she compl- she immediate call immediately calls CDC. The CDC comes in there, quarantines the whole place. Um, we we fast forward a bit. We know we we basically got somebody on the hospital that's not gonna really screw us over with Melissa Scott's mom. So in a sense, we can get kind of like the medical help we need, or at least the supplies that we need because Melissa's in on it. And so uh, she's she's proven to be very helpful uh, lately. And so basically, Brayden Brayden's the one that breaks it to us that this wasn't um, this wasn't. What did she say? No, she broke it to us. Hold on, real quick. She broke it to us. A virus designed to kill. Across Hold another on. pack. Do you know what happened to them? I, I told you they were poison. See, so at first we thought they were poison, which is what I was just basically saying about Bobby. But she was saying no, that they weren't poison. No. They were. It's a virus. No, they were infected. They were infected. It was a virus. It was a virus designed to kill werewolves, but. This this virus also triggers humans not to kill them or anything like that, but it makes them, you know, be act out the way they've been acting out or whatever. This is the scene that I'm trying to grasp and I'm trying to figure out because it's it's one of those things that I feel like is a clue to something and I didn't quite grasp it. And again, if it's gonna spoil it, just leave it. I'll I'll figure it out as the time goes on. But this is the moment where, where Lydia is trying to talk to Meredith. She, she feels really bad about it. She starts to put Meredith stuff away. And then she notices a picture of Meredith that was taken in, the, taken in the same room that she's in. Same spot that she's working with. So it's one of those things that's like, damn, who? What is this message being 
you know, sort of given to us right here. What's this clue? Why can't I figure it out, man? But basically that's that's the big speed like that's the big stuff that's kind of going on in this episode. Um and then the other big thing kind of being Malia finding out that 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 she's a hail, that she's Peter's uh, you know, daughter or whatever the case. And so that's a big thing. It's either gonna make her lash out or maybe Maybe you want to find out answers, but Styles definitely thinks that she's gonna go straight directly after Peter. Um, she's she's upset with Stalinsky for not for with Styles for not saying anything. But this is such a great like I I would tell you from, I would say from when they get, I would say about right here, when they start. No, not even so like twenty. So so it was about an eight for me. I would say the first twenty minutes, but then the last twenty minutes. So about halfway point for me is when it was like, oh my God, shit is really hitting the fan. We're really picking it up now. Things are getting really, really freaking bad. And and like even though I knew, like I said, that no one was going to like bite the bullet or die, I was like, we're in really rough shape right now. And so the way it all played out and just the way they they, they, they shot this, this little scene right here, I loved all of it, man. It was perfect. But that's the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, I'll catch you later. Peace.